Hello and welcome back to Forts, and today we're going to be playing around with the Well Defended mod. Now this is a mod we've we've played around with a bit before. It's it's not something entirely new, but there is something we haven't done with it. Oh, please don't. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Just... Nope. Cancel. Cancel. Just before you use that and ruin all of our energy production, uh, there is something we have not done on the Well Defended mod, and that is use all the materials. Uh, well, specifically, I want to try using the adamantium. Now, adamantium is one of the materials that everyone looks at, but no one ever uses, because it costs uh, a ridiculous amount of money. So I went ahead and selected uh, the Tanya, the battleships map, because it's a map that we can get a ridiculous amount of materials on, and just go to town. I'm going to be building, like, all the mines, all the energy, and we are going to defend this core right here. You know, the one that always gets blown up just because it's there and in, and in front and way too hard to defend. And we're going to defend it with what is described as literally indestructible armor. So we're going to... I'm going to see if just how indestructible it is because, well, I, I kind of like the idea of there being armor that's really difficult to destroy. Gives, maybe if the opponents get it, it can give us a good target. Maybe a few dozen nukes could finish it off? But we'll see. But that is what I intend to do today. Uh, I did see my teammate was going for that cannon, and you guys know I usually sell off that cannon. Uh, it's not because the cannon isn't useful or anything. Uh, the cannon's very useful. It's just, um, well, it's useful after you've redesigned the front in such a way that it lets you use it. And if you notice, firing costs energy. So if someone fires the cannon before putting down mines, then we can't actually put down mines because now we have to wait. And then if someone fires that cannon again, suddenly we don't have any economy for like a whole two minutes. And then we just kind of suffer in pain and silence because we can't do anything while waiting for our economy to recover. And its I just find it much, much safer to, uh, well, get get rid of the cannon before someone decides to... to leave the team entirely unable to do things for the duration of the game. And that's 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 what I do. It looks like he built turbines up there. This is fine. I don't mind at all. Let's get this going. Let's also get this going because uh, realistically I should have started the technology earlier. But it's fine. I'm going to need a lot of these as it costs what is it 6000 per Per piece, 5,000 per piece, and if we're gonna start spreading this out a bit, yeah, oh god, that costs almost 6,000 just for that. We're gonna need a lot of metal storages. We're gonna need a lot of everything, really. Uh, there's very little that we're not gonna need a lot of. Uh, once the upgrades come through, we're gonna be upgrading all of these things. Looks like they're selling things off as well, which is kind of concerning, because that means that they know what they're doing, which makes for a better game, even if it's a game that leaves me dead. It should be okay. I'm gonna need a lot more storages. Ooh, I'm really anxious about putting batteries up there. Like, real anxious about putting batteries up there. Gonna need this. Gonna need this to get all the technologies. Like, mine storages, I don't mind so much being uh, within splash radius at the top of our base. But the, the batteries, I really don't like it when they're within splash radius at the top of our base. Is that's just asking for something to happen, like get hit by mortar, and then even if they're being repaired, they can get hit again. Just because there's not they're too close to the edge. And then they explode. And then real bad things happen. And is he upgrading mines? He's upgrading turbines. This is good. I'm okay with this. Things are going very well. And then we could start getting some adamantium in front. Uh let's not do this. Uh, I'll not go that far forward. And I'll eventually I'll probably replace some of those with swarm launchers. I will turn this area into adamantium sooner or later. Good. As turbines are going, we can get some more turbinage coming along here. I'm going to sell this off. Not that we need the resources now. Uh, mostly just so it's not weight in the back pulling the rest of it down. As it's, it's not doing anything back there. Nothing good for us. More turbines. All nice and high percentage. Upgrade these some more. For getting a thousand energy per second, we're um, not not getting enough for all of our for all of our needs. Funny how that works, isn't it? You know, honestly, the one thing that could take us down right now are nukes, and they appear to be building something at least similar to nukes over there. So we're gonna well not build it there because he built a cannon there, but build some well anti-nuke prevention measures in terms of flak here and here. And then we're going to build an MG wall or three, like so. 
get this nice and tall. There we go. Build this up. Have a bunch, bunch of MGs on you. There we go. That should provide a decent amount of everything for the time being. We still don't have enough metal storages. I just like how the teammate isn't separate. I, I, I speak poorly of my teammates a lot, and it's it's not fair. It really isn't. I just, I get so burned by someone who goes on griefing sprees. But we don't need that. All we need is nice happiness and oh, yep. What was I just saying? So for those who are wondering what happened, uh, it actually wasn't purposeful. It was just them trying to T3 mortar after not correctly setting up their base and cause causing causing this to round two in our hunt for more adamantium and uh well, well, all right let me be full transparent here this is like round eight or nine um i've had a lot of players just a lot of string of play i keep getting new players like check the fa i keep getting new players um j just collapse their own base it's just it's been a long time and i'm running out of time to record things because I have other things I need to do. So I was building plastic already, which isn't that bad of an idea, but still expensive. It's not that you don't need to do that much kind of reinforce, but just stealth, stealth brace, just cross brace. You're good. Base won't collapse until you do something ridiculous, like collapse it for the eighth or ninth time. I right, got it. Cross brace this too. Right, I, th I think we'll be good here. This, so this, we have the same plan as last time, only hopefully it gets opponents. Alright, looks like they're actually building economy and building up. And I uh, do want to be a little careful here. You see how they're they're adding weight a above a section that doesn't have foundation? Yeah, don't do not do that. That's usually not a good idea. We're floating metal. Uh, not Also not a good idea. Let's build some of this here. Sell this off. Sell this off. There we go. Let's keep building up. Build more of the things. We need to get our technology down sooner than later do this they're building they're firing mortars which it's unfortunate for them because vanilla mortars don't have the range necessary to make it across the map so you don't have to worry about that okay that was a lot of metal to be spending and sell all this off all right he's got that retain all of this so he sold off this the uh supporting structure for the metal so we didn't actually get the metal back in terms of f money which is unfortunate, but at least it's not blocking the wind anymore. And so let off to make all that go away. Build this up. Build this across. Uh, start the upgrade facility. Upgrade center. Get another layer of turbines going. Uh, camera location hotkeys don't work on this map because... Map design. Which is sad because I would love to be able to use them. Oh, nope, nope, don't do that. I want to do this. Nope, I don't want to do that either. I want to sell it so that it doesn't collapse. Thank you. There we go. Do this and this, and that should give us plenty of metal to start continuing the process of uh, more minerals. Yes, please. So he's built an anti-grav here as well as plastic. Um, I taught him all of these things, or at least showed him some of these things uh, after a few rounds of the opponents collapsing so we, we his teammate in particular has had a, f a little bit of experience with me and I think he's figured out what, I haven't actually told him what my plan is yet I usually tend to keep people in the dark which is not a good habit of mine I should probably talk to my teammates at some point it can only only do good things for us but I think he's figured out that I'm going for adamantium because I've, I've tried going for adamantium for a while um, it's it's been a task and a half We'll see if we can get it this time, without, you know, the opponent simply ceasing to exist for 
reasons. What time is it? Uh, even on this map, you can't get out. You can't get out uh, lasers that quick. So you don't have to go so overboard with the energy shields at this point. But they are fine to have. Uh, you definitely don't need energy shields being horizontal like this. It's not. An, oh yeah, yeah. That's just. That's just not helping anything. But let's. Do we have all the tech structures? We do not. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue building these, all the way across, because we're gonna need a lot of them, like all of them. There we go. And I'll keep them closest to the surface that way. Okay, yeah, now we can upgrade these. We're gonna upgrade turbines first because upgrades tend to cost a lot of energy. And energy is something that we're gonna need a lot of should, when we start upgrading these mines. Yeah, because each mine is what? 2,000, yeah, 75 metal and 2,500 energy. So to, to, it's, to do that kind of costs a lot. So let's go ahead and start upgrading. Yeah, we're already peaked on energy. Yep, welcome to uh, expensive things. And upgrading, which is an expensive thing. And we still don't have enough metal storage. Look at all of these metal stores we have, and it's not enough for adamantium yet. Oh well. But hey, at least we got to keep the cannon this time, so we can convert our front into, well, a usable cannon location. Which would be nice. I like our energy shield is shutting down because I'm using so much energy to uh, upgrade, the, upgrade these uh, mines. Which is actually kind of concerning. I shouldn't do that. Because if we run out of energy right when they're firing something, then really bad things could happen. So let's let's not do that. Now I really want to protect this core, because this is one of the first cores that gets taken out every single time, like without fail. What are they doing over here? Uh, building economy. And it looks like they're building weapon... Nope, nope, that's not weapons platforms. That's just... That's just something in front. Continue the upgrades. Uh, continue getting more metal stores, because we need them. Let's do this. Mix in some energy stores with it. I'll just go back at four flex so so that should be good for that do this like so very good I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go up higher with this scaffolding but only so we can cover the turbines and protect them with things so we'll do this uh, go over to the where is the metal that allows wind to pass uh, this is it the green one. Ah, oh, yes plutonium high health let's wind pass so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here oh oh all of the energy or metal just disappeared oh that's because Built Pluto uh, adamantium there. Very nice. Alright, so teammate is actually going for the adamantium tactic, which makes me happy. Upgrade the metal production. Very good. Uh, kind of want to build up one more layer. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to build this down any lower because it's already going to cost too much efficiency. You see, this is 100%, 100%, 100%, and then 88%. If we go any further, it drops to 60%. Just because the uh, wind cone of these is too large. He built the second adamantium. Alright, so that one is definitely well protected. Don't have to worry about that. Looks like he's... Oh. I don't know if that cannon can... I don't think that cannon could reach there. No, I'm fairly certain it can't, actually. Uh, just because it can't aim up high enough to reach across. So you can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace that with the non-cannon. Uh, it's a good laser position, actually. You just gotta worry about energy shields. But I think he's gonna be the first to get an adamantium door. In fact, let's put the adamantium over here. That way it's not in the splash radius, because adamantium is uh, is indestructible. It's, it's kind of powerful. Uh, unlimited stress, all that fun stuff, but it is not immune to being disconnected from the base. If, say, you just dump a dozen nukes at it, the adamantium will still be staying there, but it won't be attached to the base anymore because everything attached, connecting it to the base, all the all the support structure, all the wood, metal, whatever else, will just be gone, just vaporized, disintegrated. And it will still be there, but it will just kind of fall to the ground and not be attached to your base anymore, which is not ideal. Uh, you don't want that to happen to your adamantium, so we're going to be making an adamantium tower out of it. Uh, that was an EMP. Uh, he's baiting our AA, which is uh, kind of concerning. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Let's go ahead and do this. Like so, build up a little front piece here. I'll put a sniper on that one and some gunners over here 
Good, good. We could take take out that. Uh, where is uh, adamantium monies? Oh, what's changing? Oh, jeez, all the anti-graph. Okay, uh, let's let's keep it calm with the anti-graph. Uh, we don't want to rip ourselves off of our own floor. That would not be great. Forts don't do so well in the air. Uh, in fact, they really don't do well in the air, like at all. So don't don't do that. Let's go ahead and snipe that EMP real quick, and then the launcher, like so. Right, let's, let's just stop it. No, no more of that nonsense, please. Thank you. All right, so now we can work on our adamantium again, and becoming immune to everything. Oh, oh, he did. Okay, that's convenient. Good, good job, teammate. You you're doing you're doing good work. I sell this guy, and then we could fire the laser. Uh, well, gotta wait for the door to complete. Uh, let's see, what's next? There you just built a lot of things over there. Yep, those are cannons. Alright, so unfortunately they made them exposed. Which means I can just kinda... Have Snipey do Snipey's work. Uh, don't... Don't forget to double door your cannons, guys. Um, it's kind of, kind of important. Friends don't let friends not double door their 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 cannons because then this happens. In fact, uh, yeah, you know, he just built a third cannon up across the top. Um, I don't know if that was a good plan because now you have no cannons anymore because they all just got sniped. And I'm gonna go ahead and start investing in the adamantium wall. Oh, please don't hit an energy shield. Oh, thank you. Good shot. Very good shot. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and do this, like so. Very good. And, oh, almost, almost enough to get another adamantium. So, if the, ad the the scaffolding holding up the adamantium and all of its support bracing and such gets destroyed, then the adamantium kind of falls and is no longer part of your base, which is sad. But if we make all the support foundation out of adamantium as well, then we don't have that problem. And that's kind of what I'm going for right here. If I build up a second little segments here. Uh, you know, no, no, no. Okay, so this is adding more weight than necessary. So what you do is you sell this off and you build it here. There you go. Like so. That way you don't have such a tall mess to deal with. And yes, I know that set us back a little bit, but it'll be fine because we can make every... There you go. And then we can make this out of adamantium. Give you an adamantium door. Oh wow, that costs a lot. We need more metal storage before we could turn that into an adamantium door. Let's go ahead and do this with a build speed. And good. Good. Now we can get an adamantium door. We are making 366 metal per second right now. Alright, adamantium door for him. So that's that's never being broken ever. Need an adamantium door here as well, because friends don't let friends not double door their weapons. I kind of want to get another another up uh, weapon or commander ability. Do they? Okay, so they have weapons that are actually doored now. Um, fortunately, it's single doored. Remember, friends don't let friends not double door their weapons. So don't don't let your friends do what these guys are doing here. And let's not hit his energy shields. Good. Go through there. Now uh, we can adamantium again. Right here get your double door. So now we have this sniper here, and you see this? This laser right there? Yeah, he's he's not in a good spot. Don't do not do that. Let's go ahead and just AP snipe him. Come on. Um, it appears the AP sniper is not penetrating that metal in particular, which is, uh, yeah, it, it's just not penetrating. Okay, well, now we know. We can't, we cannot penetrate that metal in particular with, uh, AP Sniper. If I knew exactly what that metal was, I'd be a lot happier. Fortunately, I think we can laser it. Good. Knock that down. Oh dear, oh my. That was a pretty nice laser shot. I uh, just kind of scoured our base. I think the appropriate response is to build an ir irresponsible amount of adamantium. And then make sure that that never happens again. By becoming a more... What? Where is your cannon? 
They sent that cannon shot up and over. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this. Is it there? It's not there. I'm going to have to go down one more. At least to get rid of one of their laser cannons. To go ahead and continue building adamantium bracing. Uh, start from the bottom. Start from the bottom, activate commander ability for bonus goodies. Nope, nope, you're not breaking through that. You shoot that all you want, that's not gonna not gonna do anything for you. Come on! Come on, solid adamantium wall. Here we come. I need so much metal for this. Oh my god. Alright, you slightly lower. Oh god. It didn't it didn't break the the cannon behind it. Alright, let's just snipe it. Snipey's doing good work. Snipey, keep doing good work. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have upgraded you. Real Snipey isn't AP. He doesn't need it. He's good enough. Just the way he is. Alright, come on. One more shot. You could do it. One more shot. Oh, God. No. That metal can't be AP sniped either. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna downgrade him. Oh, we just ate the entire laser. Okay, then. Uh, what are you doing? Cannons don't shoot up! Okay. Actually, I think the solution here is actually to build cannons that shoot up, honestly. Uh, tier 3 will solve a lot of our problems right now. I should probably work on that, though. I'm kind of concerned about building it back here, because if I build it back here, which is the best place to put it, then I'm going to have to worry about it falling and causing bad, bad things to all people involved. Alright, now you were lined up nicely, so let's go ahead and door snipe you while I can. Thank you. Uh, he just lasered snipey in the face, which is not great. It looks like one of the opponents has disconnected. I uh, didn't want to deal with the adamantium that we have here, which is, uh, I suppose, kind of the best end game we can hope for. Um, the opponent's disconnecting because they don't want to deal with us anymore. Alright, just come on, just complete this and then we will have... Actually, let's do it this way. Oh, where, where did it all go? Oh, it all went over here. Okay, much better. That's fine. As long as he doesn't, as long, as long as teammate doesn't shoot us with our own, our own cannons. Why are you building four cannons here? What good, where did that go? I heard a cannon shot. I'm worried. Is it going to come down on top of us? Because I did not build adamantium across our roof. We have many things, and adamantium roof is not one of them. Nope. No, I think we're I think we're okay. All right, new laser shot right there. Yes, yes. Collapse, wibble wobble into your own demise. All right. I don't know what my teammates' plan with all those cannons is. I'm uh, curious to know what it is because I don't know what it is. So now this is a very stable structure. Even if all the wood nearby gets blown up, this will still stand. Yeah, I don't know what you're expecting those cannons to do. They're uh, not going to do much. Now we still have an enemy player here. He's not... He's got a repair bay, but he's not repairing his... Oh, yep. Yep, that's, uh, that's a problem. I think he doesn't want to deal with our adamantium nonsense anymore because he's shot this a few times now and... Nothing we, he's done can actually harm us. Oh, oh, there goes the rest of the base. And we just sniped his cannon. He's uh, having a rough time right about now. And he's chatting and he's gone. All right, well, that is going to be the end, end of this. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it because I got a couple ideas that I want to try out with this whole uh, immortal fort kind of idea with, you know, literally immune to damage armor. I, I may have to make some seriously rage inducing maps for these, well, soon to be victims to encounter. But for now, that'll be in another video. So I'll see you guys later. I think next up, I'm, I'm going to have to start building like tier 3 mortars or something. What just cost all of our metal? 
Oh my god, I'm never gonna get out of video! Been recording for an hour and a half now.